man, to get your third mark of excellence is just an amazing accomplishment. Um, and you got to be really, really good in that tank you're playing and you got to be consistent. You got to have a really good teams around you. Um, but first and foremost, you got to be really good at, at whatever style it is you're playing. And Joel is an accomplished light tank driver. I mean, this is his jam. And to pull this off in a Walker Bulldog, which is a really big light tank, I mean, especially when you compare it up against like a, a ELC of a 90, I mean, it's just, and then take this thing out when this game you're about to see, and he's going to get re really aggressive in it. And even when, when I watch it for the first time, I'm like, wow, he's going to get spotted. He's going to get spotted. And it's just, he just knows how to, he just knows. And it's just really, and that's the quality of players like CB and these guys that can it just consistently do well in the tank that they're playing and to be dedicated enough to keep playing it and playing it, playing it, and playing it, and not get discouraged when you slip down a couple of notches and uh, to come back and have a game like this, man. So um, I don't have any takes three marked. I'm not that – I've got a couple two marked, but not three. So, Joel, congratulations on an outstanding accomplishment, man. I'm really excited to show it off for you. Without further ado, y'all, let's get to it. Thanks for watching. So Joel's team is going to spawn on the um, west side of this map. This is the outpost map. It's one of my, well, I love this map. It's just, it's it's gorgeous and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but he's going to head over to where the water is. He's going to light up on the map where he's headed to. Um, typical um, heavies are going to push um, center and north. And the TDs and mediums are going to push south and get into the, the TD. Um, you know, the little TD location where everybody takes turns shooting at each other. And uh, the enemy team is going to push the center pretty hard at the beginning and, uh, and the north side. Um, this is a tier 10 match. He's bottom tier in a Walker Bulldog. This is a, this is, like I said, an entrance. This is a really big light tank. And the enemy team has a Walker Bulldog as well. So he's going to crest over this hill. He's going to light a whole pile of people up. And he's going to get spotted himself by the enemy Walker Bulldog, as you're about to see. But it's not going to deter him one bit. He's just going to push right on ahead. And there's the, he's going to spot the Pantir and then every, almost seemed like the entire team. Um, he's going to spot like, when the game's over, he's going to have like eight spots. So enemies taking shots at him like they're shooting HE over his direction. But it's not going to deter him one bit. Um, there's, looks like the Kampf Panzer 07RH premium German tier 8 tank has been spotted. Yeah, or got damaged. So I think Joel needed about 3,500 plus or I don't know the exact number but it seemed like it was about 3500 uh, spotting assist damage so he's pretty close um at the start of this game he's gonna get in this bush man and it's just he's got uh I don't know if you saw it at the beginning he had commander vision system he's got a camel net uh and uh binox he's running a uh, directive uh what is it uh, focus on target directive which keeps the enemy lit up for two extra seconds if it's not trained by your crew. But if, if your crew is trained on a designated target, it extends uh, the effect two more seconds. So keeps the enemy uh, team lit up, target lit up, like that would be four extra seconds than it would normally be. So, which is pretty cool. So that whole count to 10 thing and you're not spotted anymore goes out the window, um, which is pretty sneaky. <laughs> he knocks a tree down, man. This is amazing to me, man. He's out here in the open. He's just like he knows man he's he knows what this tank is capable of doing and it's just amazing he's not spotted um, he spots the t55a i guess that every time that dude pulls out and takes a shot he's gonna get spotted and joel is up to 11.93 so he's he's he, you know he's over a third of the way there so he's pretty you know, <laughs> he's like thanks guys uh yes sir it's like Joel's, he's, he's just, he's going, you know, he's going full ham on this game. He knows he's close, so he's going to do whatever he takes to get this third mark. Probably playing a little more aggressively than he probably normally would, but that's okay. It's, you know, that's what it takes. And Joel's like, woo! <laughs> he's up to 26, you know, 26K. Um, well, 2,687 spotting assist damage already, so he's pretty close. I think he would need about another 1,000. Somewhere right in there. He's going to get spotted here. And uh, he's 
going to dip down in this little area, but see how aggressive he's playing. He's getting picked, he's going to get picked up. It's going to go dark, then he's going to get picked up again by the his enemy counterpart and the Walker Bulldog as he crests over this hill. Uh, Walker Bulldog is going to be over to his left. He's, that's where he gets spotted. He's going to pull out here and he's going to get shot by that Walker Bulldog. There he is right there. He backs up like he balances. And there's a leopard sitting up there on the hill. That thing is not to be. This thing's no joke. And the Walker Bulldog gets taken out. He gets some spotting assist damage on the leopard. So he's up 33, 33 53. So he's pretty close. And, uh, and he's just aggressive, aggressive, pushing, 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 keeping the pressure on him. That's what he's good at, man. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't quit. He doesn't, he's, he's relentless. <laughs> he's kind of like a bulldog, man, like a bulldog on a ham bone. He doesn't shake shit and doesn't let go. That's what he's doing right now. Putting the pressure on, he's going to push over the top of this hill, come up behind a, this uh, Semivente 67. Put a shot into him. Takes, gets 173 damage, and one of his teammates takes him out, which is beautiful. He does get hit with like the STRV 103 uh, um, relocated, and uh, which was smart. And now he's back on the ridge line and makes it even tougher to hit because he can uh, angle that armor. And, and Joel's down to 79 hit points, man. He's, and I can only imagine he's sick right now, thinking, man, I'm. I'm so close. He's so close. He needs just a couple hundred more hit, you know, spotting this is damage and he'll have this thing done. But he's still got to, he's still got to go out here and spot these guys. You can see the enemy trees falling. You know, he knows if he pushes up there, he's probably going to die. So he's just doing whatever he can to try to light somebody else up. And there's, there's the Fosh. He takes the shot. I think he's going to pull up here and take a shot on him and bounce one. But he's trying to get him, keep him spotted. And there you go. <clears throat> got 181. So he was actually typing. I don't know how you can do that play. And he got his third mark. So he's going to be shaking his tank here. He's excited. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. That's awesome, dude. Oh, can he get a shot on that lower plate? Nah, the gun is not that accurate. So even if he would have hit, I don't know if he would have penetrated him. And the thing's a tough nut to crack, even with a TD. Knock a tree down. He's still steadily trying to help his team, man. Trying to spot. I mean, there's the STRVK. Oh, yeah. Nope. Says I might take a shot, man. Um, as you can see, oh, <laughs> I don't know if you're paying attention, but the northern side of the. the, the uh, his heavies got vaporized on the north side, so they're down by three. Joel's about to get smashed, and uh, the, the Scorpion G is about to die. And uh, right there, and then Joel's going to get taken out by the Leopard One, and that's going to be it, man. Uh, the game is just about over with with uh, with the light tank out of the game. The enemy is they they just they overran the north the north side, man. His south his side. Did, um, they just couldn't get couldn't get worked around in time to to put the pressure on them to bring them back. And they pretty much got flanked, you know. So the outcome of this game is inevitable. Um, but nevertheless, man, um, to to play that tank so aggressively, that big white tank, and uh, put the pressure on on the team, and uh, I mean. He, ELC of the 90s, you can hide, you know, you can hide out in the open, but not that big thing, you know. Yeah, so it's, that's just an amazing accomplishment. Coons Panther is going to run into the, this wall right here. Joel is following him. This is a really good tank, too. Especially if somebody knows how to play it, man. 780 is about to work, be working over to Sturb. You know, 103 does take a shot on him, try to help him out, but yeah. That thing is a nightmare a tier 10 let me take all your reserves credits gold <laughs> xp tank uh, uh i didn't get that thing i just couldn't see it man uh, anyway yeah can't win them all but you got a third market excellence y'all so there you go and you got third class mastery badge like i said you got what eight you spotted eight tanks 
He did a 4,022 assist damage, and he did 173. Um, you know, can't help you teammates are, man. It is what it is. But they put out, they shot, and you got your third mark. So that's all that matters, man, at the end of the day, um, at least as far as this game is concerned. So, And you spent a pile of credits because um, he was running everything, doing everything possible to, you know, he's running COLA, the directive, um, commander's vision system, camo net, I mean, and Binox, man, doing it. <laughs> he was going, he was all, you know, going full ham to get this thing, get it finished, and he pulled it off, man. Congratulations on an outstanding, monumentous accomplishment of three marking the Walker Bulldog, dude. So congratulations to you. Um, like I said in the intro, man, I don't have any tanks three marked. I got a couple two marked, and I just, you know, this motivates me. Maybe it might be something I, I just, you know, to chase consistently, you got to play it, play it, play it, play it. And uh, I'm struggling just to get a tank marked, much less get a three mark, man. <laughs> so, oh, man, thank you so much, Joel, for sending me the game, dude, and letting me show this off for you, buddy. I really do appreciate it. Um, everybody, thank you so much for coming back to the channel and hanging out with me. Please uh, please leave a comment for Joel and congratulate him on his third mark. He definitely deserves it. And uh, if you're new here and you like what you see and I hope that you do, please consider subscribing. You know, hit the notification bell. You know what that does. And if you got a game you're proud of and you want to have it showed off, send it to me and we'll get it loaded up. It'll be awesome. So anyway, y'all, y'all take care. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.